In the dead of night on November 9, 2002, at the gritty intersection of Crenshaw Boulevard and Exposition Boulevard, the urban pulse of Los Angeles was shattered by a chilling incident. It was 2.39 a.m. when two vigilant Los Angeles police officers were beckoned by a frantic male motorist. His passenger, slumped in the seat beside him, bore the brutal consequence of street violence. A victim, later identified as the promising actor Merlin Santana, age 26, succumbed to his injuries despite the valiant efforts of Los Angeles Fire Department paramedics. As the city woke to another tragedy, the shadows of Victoria Avenue held the secrets of Santana's untimely demise. The investigation unveiled a harrowing scene. Santana and his companion, navigating the labyrinth of LA's streets, fell prey to the indiscriminate fury of unknown assailants. The motive, veiled in darkness, remained elusive, leaving the community gripped by fear and uncertainty. But the streets don't keep their secrets for long. With relentless determination, the Robbery Homicide Division, Homicide Special Section 1, descended upon the crime scene, launching a meticulous inquiry their pursuit of justice knew no bounds. Enlisting the aid of seasoned detectives and the relentless force of the United States Marshals Service, Los Angeles Regional Task Force. Yet, the unraveling of this tragedy held more twists in its narrative. A mere two days later, the shadows gave way to revelations as two young females aged 15 and 14 were apprehended, their involvement in Santana's murder sending shockwaves through the city's veins. Their arrest marked a pivotal juncture in the investigation, shedding light on the dark underbelly of LA's streets. And then, on a fateful Thursday, November 21st, the relentless pursuit of truth culminated in a raid on a nondescript residence on 4th Avenue. Here, the final pieces of the puzzle fell into place as two more suspects, armed with deadly intent, were brought to justice. Damian Andre Gates, aged 20, Brandon Douglas Bynes, aged 23, stood accused, their lives intertwined with Santana's in a tragic dance of fate. Lieutenant Clay Farrell, the voice of authority amidst chaos, delivered the somber truths that echoed through the city's alleys and boulevards. His words, a testament to the unwavering resolve of law enforcement in the face of adversity, reverberated through the soul of Los Angeles. The streets of LA, with their labyrinthine paths and hidden perils, bore witness to the demise of Merlin Santana. Yet, through the relentless pursuit of justice, his memory would endure. The catalyst for this heinous crime was a 17-year-old girl, Monique King, whose deceitful accusations ignited a chain of events that led to Santana's untimely demise. King's false claim that Santana had made unwanted advances towards her incensed Damien Andre Gates, 21, and Brandon Douglas Bynes, 25, pushing them to commit the unthinkable. Gates, convicted of first-degree murder and attempted murder, faced the full force of the law with a sentence of three consecutive life terms plus 70 years. Bynes, who pleaded guilty to voluntary manslaughter and assault with a deadly weapon, received a 23-year prison term for his role in the tragedy. During the sentencing, the judge acknowledged the devastating impact of King's lies, emphasizing that her actions set in motion the events that led to Santana's death. Despite her youth, King was handed an eight-year sentence in juvenile prison. Are you ready to dive into the world of mystery and intrigue? Subscribe now to our Murder Mystery Channel, where we deliver the latest in hip-hop news, unsolved crimes, and up-to-date current events. Hit the bell for notifications, support our superstars and members' subscriptions, and join us as we unravel the secrets together. Your support fuels our passion. Thank you for being a part of our community. Keep enjoying the content and let the mystery unfold.